Hi friends. Now we are going to check how we can check the jobs that is run. So here we are going to a new transaction called SM37. Okay. SM37. I'll just again put system status and this is the way you can check what is the transaction code it's SM37. Okay. So now I close this. Now what I'm going to see and suppose I have a job name that I know. So always do it like this and always put the job name and you just execute and you can see it's executing and you can see it has got finished okay now here you can see it's it got finished and it got finished in six seconds now this is the way you can find the job now there is another way you can find job suppose you don't know the program you don't know the job name and what you know is the program name. so I will just select like this SML2. Okay. this is the program name and I can execute and here I will find the job name. so this is the way you can find now there is there are other ways you can find you can put the job like this and this so you can click or, or after event and all those things so I'm pretty sure so these these are stuffs that this is the easy, easiest way is always you will find either know the job name or you will know the username or you will know this otherwise if you run a for everything you know you cannot pinpoint what's the problem so this is the way to do uh, so sn37 is very handy and you can uh, you can find the job log from here so if you i'm executing and if you want to see suppose there is any spool or thing you can see the job log like this you click on job log and here you can see all the job log and you can see the long text or whatever now here if we have a spool which i think we don't have i go to job log you don't have a spool here but if we had a spool then you can you can find it out okay so that's it stay tuned to my sp channel and happy sap learning and have a great